Hello everyone! How are you today? Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Cosmina and in today's video, I cannot believe I'm freaking excited to let you know that we're going to play with this foundation from Pat McGrath. I cannot believe it. Yes! Yes! <laughs> if you're interested in that, please go ahead and keep on watching. This is what we have to work with today. Can you believe it? I cannot. I've been uh, dreaming about this foundation. I've been dreaming having this in my hand for so long. <laughs> and it's finally here. Like, look at the lugs. Look at this. Look at this. It's Pat and fucking McGrath. <laughs> um, yes. Today we're going to play with uh, Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. I know this is an old foundation, but I have never tried it. So I'm really excited to try it today. There are mixed reviews everywhere you look. Uh, this is supposed to be a very sheer up to a medium So this is supposed to be sheer to medium, buildable medium uh, foundation. So I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of excited to see how it's gonna go on my skin. I don't have the most perfect skin, so hopefully we'll it's gonna make some of my uh, redness and. Uh, acne scars and stuff like that disappeared at the same time but we shall see I just want to say this has been on my radar for a little bit I'm gonna go with Becca first uh, light priming filter <laughs> I cannot wait I cannot wait so look at this bottle oh my god freaking god this looks freaking awesome so i have mine in light medium 14 i'm not sure if this is my skin color i do hope so um but what it says that it does it's a buildable perfecting coverage weightless texture sublime satin finish a runway tested mother approved it says universal format for all skin types oil free paraben free fragrance free amazing so i cannot wait to try this so let's just throw it on our face i'm gonna put a few over there okay so i am gonna go with the brush because that's what i saw Oh no, it's dripping. No. <laughs> okay. Let's see with the brush. So this brush is actually from ColourPop. And it's a body and face foundation brush. Okay, so it's definitely, from what I can see, it's very sheer, but it does perfect my skin in a way, you know what I mean? Like, I like the way it feels, the way it looks. It has a little bit of a scent. I don't know what type of scent, but, because it says it's fragrance-free, but I, I don't know, I feel like it smells something. Or maybe it's from the Prima. This is how it looks right now with just one coat. If you look at my skin, it looks a little bit blurred, you know? Like, my imperfections are a little bit blurred. You still can see them, like, you can for sure, but it definitely looks a little bit better. Now, I definitely need to get another passage, and I am gonna go with 
a beauty blender this time and I'm gonna put the foundation on my hand I'm gonna put three um, don't worry about it I usually have the type of skin that eats makeup and I need a lot in order to make sure it's gonna show on my skin and plus I want to make this uh, look a little bit more full coverage or maybe medium coverage you know what I mean so I'm gonna go with a sponge and see how that looks I mean it's not bad with a sponge either I don't know why they recommend to go with a brush it does dry down real fast into like something that mimics your skin it's a very natural finish for sure because that's what it says it's a natural finish and it is very very natural it looks like your skin has not doesn't have foundation on it, it looks like your skin is just uh, beautiful the way you have it I wish <laughs> But yeah, I like how it looks. It's starting to look right now. It's definitely a little bit more coverage. Yes. Oh yeah. I think I can live with that. And the color really matches me. So that's that's amazing. Yay. So it looks really nice. It looks so damn natural. It looks like it's just my skin. You still can see some things poking through but it makes it so blur and so beautiful and I love it I like it I like it a lot so I'm gonna go with concealer too I'm gonna go with this Bonafit Boeing cakeless concealer under my eyes I'm gonna try not to apply too much because I feel like it's gonna look a little weird if I do too much so I'm just gonna do a few poops here and there I have not had a very good sleep. Uh, lately my cat is um, loving to wake up in the middle of the night by jumping on the door and uh, the front door I mean. Yeah, you can imagine how scary that is sometimes when you hear uh, somebody jumping and trying to open the door, the front door. Um, in today's world yeah and it's just my freaking cat trying to break outside although if he, even if I go and open the door she will not go outside because it's too cold um, at night but she just does that and she's so oh goodness she is so annoying but she would just not stop some nights are better than others but ugh, some other nights no so yeah, today at 5.30 a.m. I woke up with a crazy cat jumping on the door. So I like how this looks so far. I also bought something else. I got this thing. I got this mini Charlotte Tilbury uh, Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. And this is for for an all over perfecting finish brush on the entire face brushing up and out and this it's a very very small packaging like that's it and I think it was like 25 I believe yes it's a, it is a mini but it's <laughs> definitely a very little um, product in there so I'm gonna go with this brush and try to set under my eyes oh it is blurry actually and I'm gonna do it all over my face I do like how this is like it gives a little bit more coverage to the foundation but it doesn't take too much from the foundation you know what I mean like it's really pretty they combine very well together 
So this one, it is in medium. Oh, actually in tan, I guess. Three. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, yes. That looks gorgeous. So I'm going to go for my eyes. I definitely want to go with a little bit with this Pat McGrath. I only have the minis. I don't have her big palettes. I have not got to that point where I can feel I can pay that much on a, one of her big palettes. But we're definitely going to play with this one. This one is more like in the neutral shades. And I definitely need to play more with this one. This is called the Sublime one. And I'm feeling something simple, not too much today. And I'm going to go with... Um, I'm going to go with this color first. Yeah, I'm going to put this one in the outer portion. Right there. It's not too bad. And after I woke up with the crazy cat jumping on the door, um, my dog woke up and then he wanted to play and I could not go to sleep. And then I went to the gym at like 7.30, I left for the gym. So I didn't got too good of a sleep last night, but it is what it is, you know. And I do have a lot to do today, like my schedule is full. I have homework to do, I have a class to do, I have to finish this um, recording this and also I have to, um, I have to edit this as well. Now I want to use all over my lid. I'm gonna go with this shade right here. I like how that looks right there. I have not played with this one too much. And I should. But I don't know how it is. It's like it's Pat McGrath. You wanna you wanna use it for special occasion. You don't wanna use it for every day, but like one of my subscribers said, every day it's a special day. I'm gonna bring it a little bit in here in this other darker one. Just gonna have that feeling that is gradual. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for my under eye, I am gonna go with this orangey shade kind of mm -hmm. super pretty so I'm gonna go off camera to just do my brows and finish up my makeup and I'll come back for lips and see how this foundation is still looking so this is how everything looks on my skin right now i really freaking like how this looks like i look very 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 close to my skin to see if i see any patchiness if i see anything that would make me feel some sort of way but no my skin is freaking like look at it it is blurred all my pores are blurred my skin looks freaking amazing it looks like it's <laughs> it's my skin but 10 times better you know what I mean uh, absolutely gorgeous and I think both of them were the factor that worked here the foundation but also the powder it gave even more blurring effect which is phenomenal love it now for the lips let's do this one from pat mcgrath and it's in omi and i love this lipstick it has such a natural shade 
and and he's gorgeous on the lips and he stays on the lips all freaking day i love this lipstick god damn and i know she just came out with liquid lipsticks but i am not purchasing lipsticks this year so i'm gonna have to pass on that but if you are on a buy <laughs> Go ahead and grab them because they're just freaking amazing. I don't know why I'm trying to put lipstick on when I'm talking. Ah, the glide, the color, the way it feels on your lips. Just beautiful. Beautiful. I'm going to just throw a little bit of Morphe setting spray on top. And this is how it looks right now. I am gonna wear this for about nine hours or so. I am, it's currently 12, hopefully you can see. It's currently 12, 18. Uh, so I'm gonna wear this all the way until around 9 p.m. Hello everyone. So I am in natural lighting five hours after I put this foundation on it's currently 5 30 and I am getting ready to get into my online class but I wanted to show you how good this foundation looks still like after so many hours in natural lighting don't mind my under eyes very wrinkly today because I uh, did a lot of straining on my eyes because I did a lot of homework today so that's how they look right now but the foundation gorgeous gorgeous so my oils are a little bit peeking through but not too much and it's still looking fabulous it still stayed on my face no problems whatsoever delicious delicious that's all I have to say. All right, I'll see you in a few hours. Okay, so I am back. It is 9, 9.30 p.m. Okay, hopefully you can see it. There you go, 9.37 p.m. And this is how my face looks like. My oils definitely are coming through more and more it started i would say when we checked in at the five hour mark it got even worse like in the six and seven hour mark but i ate corn on the cob uh, look i still have some and my foundation is still looking pretty dang good yeah like my forehead if you take the oils away everything else looks really really good of course not under my eyes but under my eyes wasn't the foundation was something else so i would say this foundation is definitely worth it um 68 worth i'm not sure I'm not sure. It is really beautiful, gorgeous finish. It stays on your face for a very long time. But I'm not sure if it's $68 worth. You know what I mean? Like I had to put a bunch of... Um, a bunch of... Uh... So I had to build it up to get it to the intensity that I wanted. And I don't know. I, I would say... It's gorgeous it's beautiful and if you have the money go ahead and purchase it but I can say I've seen some other foundations that are doing close to this not necessarily exactly like this but close to it you know what I mean but it is it is truly a absolutely gorgeous foundation so this is all I have for you today thank you so much for watching now excuse me I really need to go and rest. Today was a very long day. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.